Greetings, I'm Simone Sanders Townsend in for Stephanie Rule. We begin tonight right here in Washington, where grand jury has been hearing testimony regarding efforts to overturn the 2020 election. NBC News has confirmed that the target letter sent to former President Donald Trump from special counsel Jack Smith includes three federal statutes relating to deprivation of rights, conspiracy to defraud the United States, and tampering with a witness. The former lead investigator for the January 6th Select Committee reacted to those statutes earlier today. My assumption has been all along from the time we concluded our work and turned over our materials to the special counsel to today that that 1512 uh, uh, tampering with a witness statute, uh, which is really obstruction with the official proceeding, is the theory here that would fit within that statute. That's likely the lead count. Notably, the target letter did not include any statutes relating to the incitement of the actual attack on the Capitol on January 6th. Special counsel Jack Smith visited the federal courthouse where the grand jury has been meeting this afternoon. And while Donald Trump was reportedly given four days to testify before that grand jury, NBC News has learned he has no plans to do so. But tomorrow, former White House aide William Russell, who now works for Trump's 2024 presidential campaign, is set to testify again before the grand jury. Russell has already appeared multiple times. According to former U.S. Attorney Barbara Quaid, the target letter and invitation to testify does not necessarily signal the end of the investigative process. What is often the case is the investigation will continue to go on. The grand jury may continue to investigate other crimes or other people, especially once people get charged. Sometimes some of those defendants decide they want to cooperate. And so additional charges could get added in a superseding indictment. And the bad legal news just keeps coming for the former president. Today, a federal judge in Manhattan upheld the $5 million jury verdict against Trump in the E. Jean Carroll sexual abuse and defamation case and denied Trump's request for a new trial. Meanwhile, another district court judge has denied Trump's bid to have his hush money case moved from New York state court to a federal venue. That trial is expected to begin in March.